Hi everybody, this is Paul from Gold Gauntlet Comics, and this is Frankie. Today we're going to walk him and shoot over some ideas, some thoughts while we're doing it, just like we did with Sonny yesterday. Um, one thing I wanted to point out, as you saw yesterday, um, I don't take my dogs out for very long walks in the summer. It's just too incredibly hot down here in Florida. And like the Shih Tzus, like Frankie, they don't respond well to heat. Okay, so I make shorter walks, but more frequently. Sort of like run out, sweat, let them pant a little, you know, their form of sweating, and then get back in as quickly as possible. Also, yesterday morning, we looked like we had a thunderstorm coming. I don't know if you remember that. So that's why these walks are usually quick in the summer. As we get into the winter, they'll be a little bit longer, you know, thoughts, you know, a little bit longer and more things will come up and, um, you know, just more time coming up with ideas. So here we are, another beautiful morning, Southwest Florida, Collier County, Naples, Florida. Um, once again, my name is Paul. That's Frankie. Uh, gosh, I think the one question that came up yesterday, I was watching the boys, by the way, great, great show. Um, totally digging it. it takes an anti-hero to a whole nother level. But one question I came up with that I thought of was, why can't heroes be paid? Who says they can't be paid? I mean, come on, for real. Why can't a hero be paid? They're putting their life on the line, battling people like the Joker, um, like Two-Face, battling galactic beings like Galactus. I mean, they put their lives on the line constantly. They, were, they put their bodies on the line constantly. I mean, look at Daredevil. That guy has no healing factor. When he gets hit, he gets hit, and he feels it. Same thing with Batman. You know, uh, so they got disability concerns. They got concerns that, you know, anything could wreck their career as a villain or hero at any time. So why couldn't they get a sponsorship on their uniform? You know, why not get paid for a signing gig or a speaking gig. I mean, is it an ethical question? Uh, do superheroes have to work for free? Hey, our cops don't work for free. Our firemen don't work for free. Why should they have to work for free? So, you know, that's the one thing I thought of yesterday. Um, but then again, the boys illustrates what happens when that gets to an extreme level. And it's all about viewership and merchandising and you know, creating your own bad guys just to keep that up. So there's the flip side of it. Um, so that's another thing I figured out yesterday too. I got to stop saying so, so much. My Lord, did I say that a lot yesterday? Sorry, I did that. <laughs> I didn't realize that I said so as many times as I do. Looks like Frankie's having a little bit of an indecisive moment of what he wants to do here. But poop, poop, pee, pee, bud. Poop, poop, pee, pee. So today I'm planning on releasing another video um besides this one it's the one i think i brought up yesterday with our sunny walk um talking about the new logo how i created it what the ideas were behind it and then some exciting new channel updates uh so be watching for that um by the way thank you to all our, our subscribers uh, if you're not a subscriber make sure you hit the, the subscribe and like button I forgot to bring that up yesterday as well, um, so I don't want to forget today. Uh, that's why I'm doing a preemptive on it. Uh, we got a car coming. I don't want to show their license plate or who's in there, so we'll just aim away. Um, so, yeah, really, really good series on Amazon Prime with the boys. Very excited about it. Uh, you know, it's got so many different ways of looking at things like they say never meet your heroes i mean i don't want to spoil anything so spoil alert um you know also the fact that you it's almost like this is what would happen if comic book companies could actually have real life heroes and they could license them and hire them um <laughs> just really really good show enjoying the heck out of it that's the other thing that's amazing to me about some of these TV shows these days, especially hero ones. They almost come off as like, like they could be a movie. 
Um, the special effects in it were amazing. Amazon had to drop some big bucks on that. Um, please comment below if you've seen the boys and what did you think of it? Once again, you know, everybody spoil alerts. Be aware that, you know, you could have some of this show spoiled for you. We've had some rain here in Naples, quite a bit actually. Um, that definitely, that canal is over. Well, not the canal, um, the ditch is over what it should be. So it's a little bit of quiet morning for me with my mind. I uh, just know I got to focus at my task on hand, and that's making this next next video that's coming up. Um, you know, I didn't see any comments on the Batman Punisher thing yesterday. Um, wait to see what everybody says. Hopefully, I can get a winner here. Who would be more effective, Batman or Punisher? I think people just think that these videos are about walking a dog. Uh, hopefully, the people that see it will be like, oh, that's pretty cool. That's how he comes up with these ideas. For example, with Mr. Frankie, I came up with the idea of, remember, I, I keep mentioning that I have characters in mind. Well, I have a whole thing planned where I'd like to do a book on Frankie. It's going to be Frankie, Master of Nin Shitsu. <laughs> Nin Shitsu. So basically, um, my love for 90s, late 80s, 90s, animal kung fu, animal kung fu, um, comics shining through and i'm going to replicate that with frankie uh basically he's going to be a master of ninjitsu not ninjutsu ninjutsu and he here's where it's interesting i don't know if you know the history of sh shih tzus i'm trying to make this brief so i don't bore everybody but they almost went into um they almost became extinct um uh, i don't remember which which country or what happened but Somebody took over China, and they wanted to get rid of the Shih Tzu, um, just to take, you know, to strip the, some more of the culture of the Chinese people. It seems to be a thing that people like to do with countries. So the rich Chinese took these dogs, like seven of them, had them hidden in a monastery, and the, mon the monks kept those seven and bred them, and basically all Shih Tzus, their line go back to those seven Shih Tzus that were left. So little Frankie here, his his line, because he is a, he is a full bred Shih Tzu, his line goes all the way back to those one of those seven. So with that in mind, I have a. My fan, my idea, my fantasy for this book is that those original seven hold special powers, and they're represented by their um, different weapons, like like Frankie. I'm sort of stuck. I don't know if I want to have him wield a sword, or maybe just go really, you know, really badass and have him do a a um, like a war axe. I'm not sure yet. I got to figure that out, or maybe just a simple staff. So all of them represent different powers, um, and then they fight crime. Uh, Sonny's going to be a sidekick. Um, so they all lead back to seven Shih Tzus in the world. I've already come up with a female. She'll be cute. She's going to be called Sasha, Sha Sasha the Shih Tzu. And she's just going to be this little cute thing that has like little bows in her ears and is pampered, and all of a sudden... She turns into this really, really kick butt shih tzu that you know, she's just powerful. I can't wait to get this down on paper, get a script written, and get it drawn out. Um, but that's in the future. <laughs> so um, that's the story behind Fr Frankie, master of ninshitsu. <laughs> so, all right, well, we're almost home. Once again, thanks for watching. Like I said, thanks for subscribing. Y'all been so patient with me while I figured everything out. I appreciate it. Please like and share if, if you think people are going to get a kick out of this, you know, laughing at me for my stream of thoughts. Or if you think it's a neat idea. Um, please, if you're new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button uh, once again. And the notifications button. That way you know when I post content. Um, Hopefully I'll see you in a little bit with the next video. 
uh, the introduction of the logo as well as a channel update. Thanks for watching and have a great morning.